Hey, it's me Roberta from the ParadisePredictions.com. I want to talk with you about the year 2821 until 2978. Why? Because this period uh, has two possibilities. And it's very important that we take the right uh, direction and that everyone is doing whatever they can to share their talents and gifts with the world because otherwise we'll just get some other yeah, continuation of leaders that we don't want and um, it will be kind of like huge, become like huge Auschwitz uh, with human capital and it's like terrible. Um, so, I'm speaking from experience that you don't want this and that we need to go um, back for the times of the, before the Industrial uh, Revolution. So, in these times, people were just much more local and they were just sharing their own talents and gifts with small little shops and trading and much more cash trading as well. There were no needs for a bank that much. So, we can do this as well, like you don't need to live in an 1800 kind of style with horses and skip all the electricity and stuff like this. We can still have also sky cars, skyboards uh, and all other things. We can also still have phones and stuff, but it will be more like applied sciences. So, we can just use those things in our benefit instead of being addicted to it or focused on it that much um, yeah so also in those times uh, we can have uh, like a golden age in which uh, we believe in complete abundance and uh, everyone is uh, just uh, having uh, much more freedom and they can also take all of responsibility because now we have like certain people frustrated Uh, that are not doing their job um, so then it's like yeah you know you see we can take on uh, we can do this now or we can start a war because we can you know you are not listening and you're just wasting your time here and blah 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 so then it's better if you just leave and uh, if uh, we are making space for future generations and everything so yeah that's not uh, not a nice thing to do uh, this would never happen if everyone was just uh, in much more control of their own talents and gifts and responsibilities because then people would become more certain, I think. But this also has been trained for years and years and years, especially, you know, with the Netherlands and all their colonies and all the people from the colonies that they brought back into the country again and then paying him off with uh, with money from the government you know it's like oh yeah you and your lost generations have suffered from our slavery so we will now just benefit you go back to sleep or go back to relaxation we will pay you each month but just stay in your house and spend the money on the products in our country that we paid for um, to keep the financial circula circulation, so that's mostly what they did. Sounds a little bit fake, but no, it's still, yeah. Well, why does it sound fake? Because it's like big nonsense, but people are people are taking it, they're taking the shit. Uh, they think it's better than nothing <laughs> to get free money <laughs> or something like this. People are calling it free money, foreigners. That's how they see the Netherlands. It's not really a good reputation. Yeah. Um, that's also something that my history teacher told us in high school. I remember this. It's funny. He was a very funny guy though. Uh, he said like, uh, the Dutch people always needed to hunt and go to other countries uh, because... Uh, yeah, actually Netherlands is just a mud place and there's uh, little survival, so they needed to survive. And they were not welcome in those countries, so what they did was they just, uh, yeah, you know, took the stuff from the other countries and and controlled the other people in order to, to bring back the needs that they needed. 
but why would you keep a mud country intact? And also for, for the next years, it's nice or, that you finance another country with weapons and everything. But what about the Netherlands, its own country? Um, because uh, I was reading that it needs like 50 million euros to keep the country above the sea. Uh, yeah, because uh, it's so much so far below the sea level that it's actually a sort of uh, sinking sinking stuff that's also why i wrote you know the land of stars atlantica it's a little bit the same as what happened to atlantis like you're basically just living in the sea um <laughs> but i'm also relating much more to uh, the year okay i have to calculate which year was that which year was that 2020 I think 840 or something, 2845 maybe, in which there was some, some tragic accident, but it was actually kind of religious land shit, and all those people, I was also talking with certain people in Clubhouse on it, uh, so they all had the same experience, we also, our family, me and my kids, we also had the same kind of experience, and we suddenly had lot of water on the floor and things like this and our space st uh, became kind of uh, yeah now also you know you should really realize that the definition of war is something different we're not fighting only like guns and military tanks and stuff we're fighting with all of them you understand and nanotechnology things that are not, like things that are like 400 but anyway, per per se is the amazing job that I reckon here as well. This amazing job by bringing all those people together that also were connected to accident. Just a lot of respect with Perseus also and all the people that came together again and that now are just reliving their purpose in life, much more bigger purpose and understanding what's happening and yeah, that's just only what I can talk about. Sounds a little bit vague, but yeah, sometimes you have to talk vaguely because if you're saying exactly the things that happened, I already did this before and I just didn't really have like good experience with this so maybe that's also something part of what resulted in my tomato face at the moment I'm not sure yeah I don't want to blame anyone I'm just doing my best to get rid of it I don't know if I'm going to make it I hope I am and um, yeah so, if you're interested in a business plan, if you want to start your own business, if you think, hey, I have something to contribute to the world, let's do this, let's make this the best, best life ever for everyone to live finally in abundance again, to live this golden age, because we can, and we can live in nature, we can live in green spaces, we can build our own house, we can have abundance, because there's a lot of overproduction that is being destroyed, or they're saying that, that they're being destroyed, but it's not, it's just that greedy people just don't want other people to have all this stuff that they are needing to have. So we have all this stuff, it's available, let's not just spend all this money on wars and weaponry and whatever investment. But what, oh yeah, so back to the Netherlands. What I wanted to say about it is that the leaders of the Netherlands will just don't really will give a fuck about the citizens that are living here right now. And also what maybe they also did is that they were 
by purpose bringing on all these refugees in this country and then just leaving the country below the sea level and just let it flood and just leave it in the sea and they will just go to the countries where the refugees came for, uh, from so all those middle eastern countries also or whatever maybe africa as well maybe that's also why they marked africa as a red country because if they can just give a direction for the people like hey africa is a poor country and it's a bad country and there's nothing to search for then they know that they will have then later the space and the power to dominate and to build their own castles again but no one wants to be around those people really no one wants that so oh yeah about the colors of the countries because maybe the countries will start to disappear in the future as well um because you will now have different kind of time space relations you can see it as um you can look at countries now as companies. The com companies are actually the countries and the companies are international. So, um, because they are making the amount of money that normally was making, made by villages, and made by people in the villages with their own borders and everything. So now you will have like companies and then employees with their own borders, you know. So then, you will have the regions of the colors, so you're from blue area, red area, blue, blue, blue. and then you will see that the red areas are like making the less amount of money, and the blue kind of, I think, are making more money. So that is that is how you can see the new economy and the new kind of uh, spaces, and then also the dimensions of it. Because, uh, you can look at uh, the Nordic mythology a little bit, you can see. Um, our space more as layers in our atmosphere. So yeah, that is that is mainly it a little bit. So if you start your own company, you always have more 